I'm Tim Brown for Via Technologies. We're here at Lunch Ship Heroes, kind of showing off some of the latest, greatest for Via for 2009. We're really excited because this is the year that Via Nano enters the market. People actually get their hands on it and play with it. Uh, we've got some products that will be coming out from Tier 1 customers. Hopefully they'll be showing them off at the show. If not, maybe they'll be making announcements later in the year. Uh, we've got a couple of devices here that I've got right in front of me that are using the Via Nano processor. One's an 8.9 inch device, one's an 11.6 inch netbook. Now, we think this is the, probably the ideal form factor for people. It's very slim, uh, but it's still a very good size. It's priced right, good battery life, great performance. Uh, we would see this as probably your perfect netbook almost. Uh, of course, everybody has their own different usages and different things that they need. Uh, both of them are, are very connected. They have all the options for HSDPA, WiMAX, your choice. It's an internal USB uh, 51 pin connector that the uh, manufacturers will be able to decide for their markets what they want to include. Um, we've got other Via Nano products that are on display over here on the bar that are running. Some of them are running Vista, some of them are running different operating systems. Uh, earlier this year we had uh, just recently out on the internet videos of Windows 7 running on the Via Nano processor, as well as an HP 2133 that was running a uh, Google Android. So the, all the Via products are set up well for all the different operating systems. Uh, we've got 30 partners from our Global Mobility Bazaar program in China that will be out there introducing products into especially brick countries for people to get their netbooks. We see the netbook market still growing uh, in 2009 despite the economic downturn. We see this as one of the shining points of the PC market. It's still going to experience growth. He is very positive about that and we're very well positioned for that. Uh, we've also got even some uh, technology into some, some SOC ARM-based products. We've got a smart book over here on display. Maybe we can take a walk over here quickly and, uh, and look at a device. Now, some people might wonder why you consider a smart book a, a, a good solution for your mobile product, but actually when you feel how lightweight it is, consider that it has almost instant on, excellent, excellent battery life, you'll see that uh, now that people are used to using their smart phones and other uh, smart devices that a smart book might make perfect sense for someone who wants a little bit more uh, capabilities in terms of input with a nice uh, full-size keyboard, not full-size, sorry, but a, a larger size keyboard.